46 plays of Allen. Um, a lot of it, the running backs is pretty simple, you know, but we'll watch. Um, we'll watch and break some of these plays down. Okay, here we go. Starting off, let me minimize myself, minimize this, and minimize that, and we are rolling. Um, first play, honestly, it's really, it's really not even that, um, it's like in terms of breaking it down, I, I remember this play specifically, kind of, they, they run, they run power right here to the right, to the, to the strong side. And, uh, you know, it gets clogged up. Obviously there's a lot of people in the box. Um, and you just not even necessarily patience power to, to churn through there. And he ends up running for, you know, a 97, eight yard touchdown. Right. So, um, First off, off the jump again, power, um, power to power to the right. Designed, he's designed to like hit to be following this guard right here, who's pulling, make it through this gap. Obviously, we could tell that that gap is pretty skinny. It's it's hard for him to know if this is going to be clear. Okay, so he keeps it a little bit more vertical. As he keeps him a little bit more vertical, again, just sees bodies in the middle, looking for a gap, looking for a gap. Sees a flash of white right there. Tries to bounce away from the flash of white. Oh crap! There's another uh, there's another flash of white. Meets him head on. The uh, stiff arm comes out. You're seeing left hand onto the shoulder. Stiff arm stays engaged. Obviously keeps himself clear there. Finds a hole eventually. Squirts through. Long touchdown. Um, the thing about him is you're going to see some people say like, uh, and, and people already have said, right? I, th I feel like people are already over the draft prospects, but like, hey, he doesn't have the best long speed. It's all relative. You know, do I expect him to be Chris Johnson? Do I expect him to be? You know, um, and he's really fast running backs. Raheem Mostert, no, but he's 240 pounds. So you gotta, you gotta kind of take it, take it for what it's worth. Um, he has good speed for his size, right? Again, all relative. Uh, Allen Pass Pro, okay. Obviously, he's a running back. He's number zero. He's gonna be zero at the Jets as well, which I love. Good pass pro. He's he's a little bit spotty. Like sometimes he seems to maybe struggle a little bit with like the scheme and and getting to a guy. But when he when he gets to a guy, he's he's usually pretty good. I would say it got it got even better in twenty twenty three where I really didn't see too many flubs. Um, so I don't know where all the like the I, I think he had some pretty poor pass like rating numbers or again whatever these bullcrap websites are with their with their ratings and stuff. I thought it was relatively good. Um, here does a good job just closing ground, closing ground. Dropping his weight, staying square, right hand into the chest, left hand into the into the uh, into the ribs, which is completely fine. Separation runs him up the arc. He obviously tries a corner on him, and uh, and and Braylon Allen pushes him off balance. So really good rep. Again, control, close that, close that ground, control. Good, good, uh, good hand placement, and again, run him up the arc. It's it's a really good pass blocking rep. Um, outside zone broken tackles. Okay, let's see. We have outside zone split. Yeah, he's pretty good at breaking through arm tackles, um, for sure. Obviously, obviously a pretty powerful dude. He definitely runs a little bit high, and, and you'll see that throughout the review. Even like right there, he's still, he's still a little bit high. And obviously, he's six one, right? So he's not going to be as low as Darren Sproles, right? Again, all relative. Um, but here, okay, open gap. He takes it right. Read the outside. He's kicked out inside. Is is it gets a good combo block. Seal him to the inside. Awesome. Um, breaks it vertical. Now, obviously, sees twenty two is taking a more hard and, and flat angle to the outside. With that stab, hard and flat, get underneath him. Lower shoulders a little bit through the arm tackle as he's breaking through the arm tackle. A little bit off balance. Another guy high and over the top. Spin him. Get underneath. Turn forward, pick up an extra, you know, ten yards ish there from that second tackler. Allen pass pro in cap in capital letters. That means it's going to be good. There's there's a there's a there's a couple good ones in here. Um, I didn't want to. I, I feel like there was even more good reps that I didn't put on here just because I don't want to overwhelm people. Not not overwhelm people. I don't want to put a thousand pass pro reps in here. Um, and it's another thing when you you guys you guys will see the stickers review. Um, I, I like Sticker's game. Uh, the the one it's a massive issue. He's he cannot tackle. Uh, it feels like every other tackle he missed, which is a terrible percentage. But like I do, I wasn't gonna just litter his reviews with missed tackles because it gets a little bit boring. But um, Alan Passpro in capital letters, so he molly wops somebody here. I'm sure. Yeah, man, he's strong, right? And like you know, may, you know, I think he's on the team playing Big Ten football at 17 years old. Um, obviously, we've seen all the workout videos. We've seen the the pictures of him squatting and deadlifting and power cleaning and and all this stuff. Again, closing ground, um, picking up the first the first edge rusher, the, the first threat. 18 is the first threat. Again, nice and low, nice and square. Lowers his shoulder into him. Looks like his his 
I can't tell exactly where his hands land. They look to be inside. At least the left hand is inside or underneath. Right hand, you can't exactly tell. But again, loading up into it. You see the load up, a little bit of a hip roll. Chuck him. Completely tosses him. All right, let's watch it again in in, in full speed so you can just appreciate how, how much he just molly wops that guy. And I think I put this one up there. Um, I think this is one I put up there. And then he then he quote tweeted it like, yeah, I'm going to protect Rodgers for the next 10 years or make Rodgers play for the next 10 years, which is obviously exciting, right? Especially when he quote tweets, you know, uh, me or you or whoever, but specifically me this time. It was, it was cool. Um, Allen, another pass rep. Okay. All right. Stacking the chips. Okay. So, um, Quick play action drop. They all they're all in in their uh, in their slide to their to the right. He's expected to fill um off the left side. Okay, he fills. Obviously, eighty um transitions from playing the run to pass. Allen cut blocks him. Good job diving through the thighs across the thighs. Right, dive th through them. Flips him over his head. Okay. Allen need to take yards. Okay. The, um, one of the issues I do have with this game is he's a little, and, and, and Brees Hall even had a little bit of this and he still does at times. Um, Brees, Brees Hall is not a guy who's going to get you five, 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 five. He's more of a one twenty twenty two. Like he's, he, he bounces some runs that he shouldn't necessarily, or, or maybe shouldn't at times, but it, pick your poison, right? Like you would you rather have him get five, 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 five or two eighty. You know, Brees Hall, it's worth it because he has that breakaway speed. Um, Allen, with his size, you, you there are some times you wish he would just pick a hole and, and, and you know, instead of trying to pick up 10, realize that four is not a lost play. It's still okay. You know, so situation here. Follows his lead blockers. You have the, you know, they obviously have the guard in the center pulling. Guard in the center pulling, right? Open up, open up somewhat of a lane here. It's not the biggest lane in the world, but considering that you're going to cut inside the edge rusher, you know, you're going to cut inside the ed edge rusher, right? The pulling, the pulling guard, helmet on a helmet. There's a gap there. Try to push through that gap, right? And I'm not even saying like, okay, it, it opens up late or anything like that because I don't like like the Monday morning quarterbacking of gaps, but that's that's open enough. He's he's his eyes are there. He sees that. Um, you want to see him push forward right there shoot through that gap and maybe break an arm tackle, but instead he's going to look to cut that run back, maybe pick up an extra, you know, get a get a big gain right there. He gets tackled. If he if he decided to just go through that gap instead of gearing down like that and looking for more, does he does he maybe squirt through there? Get a couple of extra yards? Yeah. Yeah, most likely. I would say most definitely. Um Allen cuts for size. Again, I don't think so. I don't think he's like the smoothest in terms of like like overall like change of direction, but for like more linear type of movements, like whether it be lateral cuts, um, just straight line like explosion and speed, like he's good at that stuff. He's not good at like overall change of direction, but he makes some good like jump cuts for his size, right? Like he's you know again like I, I think I, I you know I think people some or a decent amount of people just do like, like lazy analysis and they're like, oh he's big he can't cut. Like for a guy who's 240 here, he's cutting pretty well, right? You know, pull the guard, one back power. Pull the guard, right? And really here, you can even argue, okay, are we, we should we go inside there typically? But with the crack block from, from 11, okay, he figures he can bounce outside of him, right? Because of, because of the crack block, even though the crack block's not the best. Okay, found the decision. Close that ground. Open up the left foot. You see the left foot's open. If that left foot's not open to the sideline right there, it's gonna be harder for him to get his hips over and like swivel his hips outside. It's gonna be it's, it's gonna be more um, linear type of cut. He's probably gonna cut right into that guy. So good job opening that foot as he gets outside of him. Okay, now we have two guys to the outside over the top. Cut back again. Not an easy cut right here. You can see the flexibility. Look at look at his body. Look at his body. Not easy to do at all. Gets lateral. Right. Another guy hits his legs. He turns forward for a couple extra yards. Like, hey, he can't move. Are you sure he can't move? Like, no, his change of direction is not the best, but come on now. He's definitely he's definitely not like he's not like I don't want to say the name because I, I haven't necessarily like watched watch him, but he's not Jerome Bettis. You know, he's not he's not Brandon Jacobs who can't move at all. Uh, but Allen cuts for size. Did I just pull this one up or is it a different one? Different one. Yeah, see, again, like it's not, 
He can't cut? Hmm. So now we have what? Uh, this duo? No, this one. So this one actually looks like it's a one back power or guard trap. Um, but the play side, you know, following that pulling guard. Okay, it's pretty clogged up, right? He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't want to hit it. And if you're gonna, if you're going to be like, you know, it's it's a lot harder than it. It's a lot easier said than done. Be like, oh well, he could have hit this. It, unless he transports here and then shoots through, like it's not. It's not going to happen. There's obviously guys there, right? But I hate when people are like. I don't know. I think they think it unfolds a little bit slower than it does in real life. And especially considering, you, just, you know, if you've played, you played, you know how quick this all, all this happens. It's a lot harder when you're on ground level too and not above them. You can't see the gaps and all that. But um, again, play size a little bit clogged up. Okay. Again, drop the weight. The one, the one thing about him is, um, and I think I'll, I'll have some better examples later on. He does tend to be, he, and, and he has longer legs, right? So you're going to tend to have a longer gait, longer stride. Um, the, the longer your stride, just like offensive line, when we talk about small steps, the, the longer the stride, the less conducive to change of direction. Um, so there is sometimes he's striding pretty long and it, and it hurts his change of direction as well. But with this being said, again, play side covered up, open that right foot, get over top of it, get to the outside, avoid that hand. Again, another guy coming over the, um, um another guy to the outside, obviously reading the block, reading the leverage, plant, get vertical. Like for a big guy running as fast as he is to get vertical like that's pretty good. Again, another guy jump cut him, get inside. There's a hold there. I don't care. It doesn't affect Brandon Allen. In terms of the cuts, I'm assuming the hold is right here, right? Yeah, hold is right there. Next guy, Sean Tippman, by the way. Tippman 75 in this review because this is from 2022. So Tippman with the hold. Guys, where did Tippman even go? Guys, are trash. There's gonna be somebody in the comments if this one's live. If this if this is the port the, the portion that's live because people just like to pick it apart. Tippin's on the Jets, idiot. Do you even know the Jets? What's the point of watching this review? I had one. I had one guy who uh, he commented on the last one and he was like just like inherently false. Like I, I I brought up something about catching the ball and making it making sure that it doesn't cross your face. And I said, but in general, like this one, it's, it, he's kind of in a hard situation um, to to not. So I I mentioned like just be careful with it in general. I'm not even saying in this specific play. He's like. I don't know what he said, but it's like it's just the dumbest comment. Like, oh, I'll give it, I'll give it another chance, maybe. It's like, okay, dude, thank you, goodbye. So, um, another play. We got the, we got the, uh, we got the guard and the uh, guard in the center pulling. Your front side pin and pull. Follow the blocks. Yeah, good run, right? Follow the blocks. Obviously, one's gonna get kicked out. Um, you have uh, Tippman who takes on 80. Tippman takes on 80. He's just reading the blocks, right? Where is this block going? Is is 80 going to be inside leverage? Is he going to be outside leverage? He sees that he's inside leverage, right? Break down, read that block. Okay, he's inside. Explode to the outside. Chop it down on some hands and stuff like that. Trying to clear himself up, but like, oh, there's no acceleration there, right? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show some more plays of acceleration. So I, I think that's inherently false. I, I really don't think that's true at all that he can't accelerate. Again, do not put up side by sides of him and Chris Johnson because that's just not fair. Because then I'll show you a play of him trucking somebody over where Chris Johnson can't do that. I'm not comparing. I'm not saying it's a Hall of Fame running back or anything like that. I don't think Chris Johnson's a Hall of Fame running back, but nonetheless, here we go. Allen. All right. So now we have power. Right, more of this stuff in twenty two. Just, I really like this one. Um, I believe this is the one I like in terms of in terms of his awareness of his feet here. So follow the pullers. Okay, we have we have his we have his uh, we have his um, the kick out the fullback right there. He gets kind of stood up, so that's going to cloud the gaps. He could hit that, but he's going to run into a lot of traffic. I understand not running into that. Take it vertical, right? Gaps are closed. Take it vertical. Wait for something to open up. You can see his eyes are just flashing. They're kind of looking around. Sees a sees a, a slight opening. Sees a slight opening, right? Now watch his legs. High knee with the left, high knee with the right, high knee with the left. We talk about how important that is getting through traffic. Right? <laughs> it's funny. And like I'm, I'm gonna make like a parent, a parent reference here. So people who don't have kids are like, oh shut up, dude, whatever. But like it's you know, you ever you ever walk through your kid's room uh with a bunch of toys on the floor at nighttime? You know, you're trying not to trip over anything. Where where are your legs going? They're going high. You're trying to avoid that traffic, right? Avoid that traffic, you know, walking through your walking through your newborn's room in the middle of the night, high legs, because, you know, the one time you don't do it, you're tripping over the ottoman and you're and you're fucked, you know. So um, I like I like the high legs. I like the right 
arm onto the back of the offensive lineman there, just, just guiding him, guiding the offensive lineman, hey, I'm behind you, and also um, pushing off of the offensive lineman to both propel himself forward and to keep the offensive lineman where he is, right, so he doesn't close that gap. Again, high legs explode through there. He's gone. Looks simpler than it is. You know, I think people watch it, like, oh, it's wide open. They're really not. Like, it's a, it's a really good play. Vertical patience explode through high legs. Good. Allen sack allowed. Okay. And we have the blown protection after this, too. So, again, he's a little bit spotty. There's there some spottiness in 2022 with it. Okay. Sack allowed. Yeah, so this one's just straight up technique. You want to see the hands be a little more forceful there. So I don't, you know, the, the angle is not that bad. It's a little bit, it's a little bit flat to the inside. You want to see you want to see it more like, you know, near shoulder to near shoulder type deal instead of instead of getting a little bit flat. He gets a little bit flat and the hands are a little bit passive. We can see they don't really shoot until late. They don't shoot until late and they're and they're again, they're kind of wide. So now the left hand doesn't land. The right hand doesn't really land at any sufficient contact. Um, he gets beat with a with a club arm. Uh, he didn't really arm over, but he gets beat with a club. Why? Again, a little bit flat. Um, and the uh, the hands are passive there. So you want more more active hands. Allen blown protection. Okay. Here we go. Right. So did he just not understand what the protection was? You know, here because assuming that it's play action, or, or obviously seeing that they're trying to fake more of a run action here, which he, you know, he pulls it short right there. I'm assuming because it's a stack. Like, there's different times where, like, hey, if it's a stack box, they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna really sell that exchange because the longer you sell the exchange, the 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 longer the yeah, the longer the fake of the exchange, the less time you have to read said play. So if there's a lot of pressure in the box, if there's a lot seven, eight dudes in the box and they're, and they're bluffing a blitz or showing blitz, whatever it is, you're gonna pull it short. So that's probably why they didn't they didn't hand it off.